Hello everybody, it's your boy Knowledge vs Dota and I'm here to make a video about a cool metric that I found out from YouTube Again, it's from credit to this other YouTuber there is that showed me this trick and I'll leave the link down the, in the description down below So here's the trick on how and why it works So as you can see, this is an algebra, typical algebra problem, like ax plus b equals cx plus d. Then you're asked to find the x, and then you have to do all the algebra stuff and all of that. But you can also, you can, why do you have to do all that hard stuff when you can just use this formula, which is x equals d minus b all over a minus c. So it's an example from number 1, 3x plus 5 is equal to 13. So first of all, you have to know like what is given. So what's A? A is 3, right? So we write from this equation, x equals, we know A is 3, B is 5, C is 0, and D is 13. So it will be 13 minus 5 all over zero uh, oh wait it's a minus c not c minus c sorry uh three minus zero so the answer will be eight over three that's your x and and let's take a look at number two and number three Num they're both they you just need to use x this time c is given on number two so a is 2, b is 6, c is 3, and d is 5. So it will be like 5 minus d minus b, what's b? 6 all over, okay, what's a? 2, and what's c? 3. So it will be negative 1 over negative 1, which is just 1. Then you do the same for number 3, it's 21 minus 5 all over 10 minus 9, which is just 16 over 1, which is just 16 Then last week number four is a little tricky so In order for you to be able to do this you have to <coughs> You have to make the num the number each of the number become a whole number And a variable so it cannot be like in this fraction form if I so the number would look very neat and tidy so if I were you, I would times 5 to all of them. So 8 times 5 and 3 times 5 and... Eh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, yeah, and I hope you can see clearly. So it's 8 times 5 and then 3 times 5 and then plus x over 5 times 5. So... What's 8 times 5? Uh, 40. Then it's equal to 15 plus x. So, if I were you, you don't really have to use the formula x. You can just find like directly like what plus 15 equals to 40. You can just think like that. So, it's just x is equal to 25. Yeah, so it's basically it for the trick. So I hope you find this video helpful and Thank you so much and I'll be looking forward to making more videos like this and I hope you like comment and subscribe to my channel and See you around